Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my Neverfull MM in the Damier print and give you a review. I've had this bag for nine years, so I think that I have a pretty good uh, review on if you should get this bag or not. So if you are interested, then keep watching. Okay, so I got this bag in Las Vegas nine years ago. Um, my husband had won some money at the casino and he surprised me and got me this bag. I was so excited. I've always wanted a Louis Vuitton bag and I can't believe that was nine years ago. I still carry this bag almost every single day and I have nicer bags, but this is one of my favorites. So um, that says a lot. So the outside is this like, this is the Damier print. So it's like a little checkered print and I actually have my old initials monogrammed on here in gold um which i kind of regret now because we got married shortly after that and now i have these old initials but i have heard that you can get the straps redone so i might do that but yeah so what i love about this bag is the outside is like a coated canvas and it's indestructible so like i have done so many things with this bag i am rough with my bags i like throw it under like the seat in front of me at the airport i throw it in my car i've like closed the straps in my car door i've done so many things to it i've worn it in the rain i've had it in the sun like i don't take care of it the way that i probably should but that's okay because this bag is indestructible so the only wear that i've noticed in nine years is the straps, so the straps are leather, and I actually heard that I think they are making the straps different now. Again, this was quite a while ago, almost a decade, so, um, but yeah, so the straps are kind of, I guess they're kind of pilling on the side, but like it's just, it's nothing though, like they're still completely together, they're still strong. And so the inside of the bag is red, and mine is really dirty, because I literally wear it all the time. Oh, gross, I'm kind of embarrassed. But yeah, there's like glitter in mine. Um, but yeah, so it's this red stripe, which is so cute to me. And then mine just came with the little inside zipper pouch. Um, they weren't doing the whole like where you get the little uh, pouch to go with it when I got mine. So kind of missed out on that, but that's okay. What is that? Sorry, I thought someone knocked on my door and I'm always like that girl that's like, oh my God, who's trying to break in? So, okay. Anyways, um, so I would definitely say the pros of this bag. Uh, oh, this is the MM. This is the MM. So it's about, I don't know, let me show you. Like it kind of comes like to that, which I really like. Um, a lot of girls go for the bigger version, which is great, um, but I think for every day, this size is good because it just doesn't like swallow your whole body and make you look like you're carrying a beach bag all the time. So I prefer this size. Um, I love how much it can hold. Like you can put so much in this. I'm pretty sure these can carry like a lot of weight. Like I don't remember how much, but they can hold like a lot of stuff and the straps will not break. So it's really nice. Um, and I cram stuff in this thing. So I'm again, not gentle with it. Um, I think if I took care of it better, this wouldn't have happened. The inside of this zipper pouch is like peeling, but I've gotten, I mean, again, this is 10 years almost. And um, I've gotten it wet on the inside. So I'm sure that's probably why, but it's not a big deal. Um, it was just like a little coating and it's just coming off and it just, now it just feels like this material. So, um, the only other thing that I've noticed is that some of the gold hardware has like turned silver. So not on the outside where anyone would see it. All of this is still gold, but this little hook has turned silver. I'm not sure why. It's not real gold though, so that's not surprising. And then this one just looks like it's got a little wear on it, but I mean, it's just gonna happen over time. But yeah, I love this bag. Oh, it 
doesn't have feet, but look, see, I set this everywhere. Everywhere. Looks brand new. That is why I love this bag. And I prefer, the Damier print is my favorite because it doesn't, uh, what is it, patina? So it doesn't change colors, so it always looks like this. Like the monogram print will slowly start to turn like this greenish color and the tan straps will start to darken and they can change like if they're touched by rain or sweat and all this stuff, but these never, these never change. This always stays good, so. It retails for $1,320. But now it comes with the little pouch on the inside. So it's really nice. Like, so you get a little clutch basically that you can keep in the bag or you can take it out of the bag. So um, I really like that. And uh, yeah, every single year though, these bags get more expensive. So if you want one, I would get one now. Like when I got mine, it was, I think like 900 and $35 with tax, like it was under $1,000, and now it's almost $1,400, so I would definitely say invest in one now. Um, you can use it forever, and what's great is it's just so versatile, so you can, uh, you can pretty much wear it with anything. I wear it with all black. I wear it in the summer. I wear it in the winter. I wear it in the spring. Like, there's no, like, don't wear it at this time. Like, I probably carry it way too much, but that's okay. I really like it. Um, so cost per wear, so worth it. And you could also make it a diaper bag eventually because they, since it's just a big open tote, you can buy these like inserts and it'll separate things. So you can have like bottles and, um, diapers and all that stuff. So it's definitely something that you can really get a lot of use and wear out of. So, um, Another thing that I really love about this bag is it's so light. Like it is just light on its own. Like some of the bags that I have now, the hardware and the leather are so thick that it's heavy and this is so light. So I can fill this up so much and it doesn't like hurt my shoulder or anything because it, it naturally is just really light. Like it's just a very um, easy tote. So anyways, um, I really like it. I feel like it's just indestructible. You can scratch it. Like I have no signs of wear except for on the straps. So I feel like, I mean, if I could get the straps redone, I could probably sell this if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Um, so yeah, but I really enjoy this bag and I definitely think it is worth the investment. I mean, nine years still going strong. So you know, um, that's like if I got a bag for $100 every single year, um, like I've only really needed this bag. So you're actually saving money in the long run if you buy lots of cheap bags. Um, that's my philosophy, so. But on a side note, I wanted to show you all something really funny. Like I love Drake and my friend got me the funniest air freshener of him. Is that not? the greatest thing ever. So, uh, yeah, I saw this when I was cleaning my bag out. I was like, oh crap, I forgot about this. Um, this is awesome. Just FYI, you can have a Drake air freshener too. So anyways, as I was saying, um, I definitely think this bag is so worth the investment. Um, just such a great bag. Like, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, just so good. You don't have to, if you don't want to have to take care of something and worry about it, you definitely want to get this bag. It's just so easy, so lightweight, good to travel with, good to wear with a nice outfit. It just kind of elevates your look. Um, I love my bag and I would get anything in this print. Just so pretty. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and um, I will talk to you later. Bye.